And tonight, it's the awaited conclusion of a lengthy legal battle involving the city of Rochester's chief executive. In roughly two months, the mayor of Rochester will resign. Mayor Lovely Warren will give up the office as part of a plea deal. It resolves her legal battle against campaign finance charges and a separate set of weapons charges and child endangerment after the mayor's home was raided in May. The mayor's attorney and prosecutors sharing their thoughts moments after the deal. She is uh, someone who uh, is vested in her constituents and continues to represent them. So, yeah, I, I mean, uh, that certainly was an issue in this case, resignation, because, look, she's, she's going to be out of that office in less than 30 days uh, after the resignation point. So she will fulfill her term, more or less. The mayor was willing to, you know, all three defense were willing to take responsibility to today. Um, obviously, the mayor will no longer be mayor on January 1st, one way or another, prior to today. Um, it was time to, I think it's time for our community and the city to put this past us. Since the news broke this afternoon, leaders and community members have been sharing their thoughts on the deal and the mayor's impending resignation. Alex Love is live for us at City Hall now with the latest. Alex. It's really amazing when you think about it, Jack, because it was like a roller coaster, as m many were describing it. Mayor Lovely Warren came into that city hall building back in 2014, making history as the first black woman to hold the office of mayor for this city. But that glass shattering election came to a bitter end as she was forced to be pushed out early, and people of Rochester were disappointed. As the doors closed on Mayor Lovely Warren's tenure leading the city of Rochester, those we spoke to who called the city home felt she fell short of expectations put on her coming into office. You don't see her out here in the community like she should be. And I think that she needs to work a little bit better with our police, our police department. I feel that she hasn't stood with the community on important things like the police brutality and, and the brutalness that's going on in our community. By pleading guilty on a Class E felony charge for election law violations, Mayor Warren, on top of resigning, only faced a year-long probation-type punishment where she can't have any more run-ins with the law or face more serious punishments. She's been bad for the city. She's been bad for business. Um, really, it's an embarrassment to Rochester. It's a beautiful city. Really nice people. We have so much going for us in this beautiful city. And uh, once again, we're let down. Some explain this announcement put a dent in their trust to the Rochester City government, but have faith the city can move forward and look to the future for leaders to invest funds and better resources where it's needed the most. Put it back in the city's hands so the city can use it for things that are needed, like things for these children. They want children off the street for their money in a place where it can be used for them. I think Malik Evans has shown himself to be approved. Um, he is not only, you know, just about one thing. He's about the community of Rochester and building. The only thing I know is that there was Some city council members did release statements following this announcement, including Councilman Jose Peo, who called the mayor's resignation a step in the right direction, but added transparency and integrity must be restored at City Hall. Live in Rochester, Alex Love, News 8. Alex, thank you. And tonight, city leaders are responding to the mayor's plea deal, and that includes presumptive incoming mayor Malik Evans. He chose not to offer reactions, saying his priority now is how do we move forward from this and turn a new page? He says the city can't let this news distract from several issues at hand right now, from violence to poverty. What, what I'm happy to do is to continue to work with the residents in the city of Rochester and everyone that wants to work to uh, make our um, city strong. And I think that that is what we all have to do um, together. I think all of us in this room and, and those that are not in this room have an obligation to work to ensure that we build a strong city. Um, our, a strong city is not just dependent on me or you or others. It's us collectively. Also important to note, Evans is still a council member. He says they will continue working with the administration. He says residents will stay the main focus. For Mayor Warren, the future is now much more open-ended. As a local political expert told me today, it's a deal that works in Warren's favor. Actually, this would be favorable for her uh, political or po public uh, service future. For now, outgoing Mayor Lovely Warren, the plea deal the mayor accepted today is a good one, as Nazareth College political science professor Timothy Nealon describes. This is actually in, in her favor because it doesn't mean that she will be removed from office. She would voluntarily resign in the face of these misdemeanor charges. It's a deal which works charges down to misdemeanors and requires the mayor to leave office later this year. 
But as Neyland describes, it is now easier for the mayor to move forward. Mayor Warren and two of her campaign staff members took the plea deal. In a statement, Monroe County District Attorney Sandra Dorley approved of the deal. Dorley says in part, quote, we find today's resolution fair and just based on the nature of their crimes. Moving forward, the ramifications of the mayor's conduct spans beyond the criminal justice system. A key part of the deal, the mayor is no longer facing felony charges. Neyland says it keeps the door open for practicing law and potential more politics down the line. In many ways, that salvages her future as opposed to going through trial where she could be acquitted, she could be even exonerated, if you will, but she could also be um, found guilty, and that would be devastating to whatever career she hopes to have after this. According to the deal, the mayor has to leave office by December 1st. We are following this major developing story 24 7. All the latest updates and the mayor's resignation on our website, RochesterFirst.com.